What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. Today we are going to look at Jose Urquidy. And Jose Urquidy has just been brilliant. Sure, you can say a lot about the bad luck he's had, but he dominated the Red Sox for 10 strikeouts, 7 innings pitch, and he had Christian Vasquez behind the plate, which was kind of fun to see. Uh, so we're going to see how he did this, what has changed from Jose Urquidy, and how he's dominated these lines. And we'll go straight into it um, right here in the first inning. Uh, and that's the major thing to me. So he's focusing a lot on fastballs, and I think in this start, it was a lot of stuff up here as he went inside to these lefties. But what you're going to also see is you're going to see changeups down here. You're going to see breakers down here, and you're going to see sliders come in there. And it's pretty cool to watch. So there you go. Good and establishes that fastball up and in. You probably do it again. Let's see, do. And now that you have him looking up and in, what you do is you throw a changeup down and away. And that's what they did. And a wonderful camera angle. I'm just kidding. But that's exactly what that pitch was. That was a pitch that started over here and fell off. And when you know, one, two, three, KC, a bye. Good stuff from Urquidy. And that's pretty much what he's been doing. Now he established the fastball. Nope. That's some free real estate 78. Good break to it. Um, that is the curveball. And he does it again. And that's a little greedy. Tommy Pham here, of course, uh, pit playing for the Red Sox now. I love that pitch. Oh, that's really good. So you throw two, two breakers away. And keep in mind, it does mean that it's a lot of the same stuff in the same starting location because if you do end it here same tunnel the entire way through um so this pitch doesn't look quite as good as you know it, it's not as different as you think it would be still getting it up and in like that when fam is thinking i need a fastball i need a fastball and what does he do he gives him one that's so hard to, this is such a hard pitch to actually drive um and fam tries to give it a good ride but that's just pretty much a can of corn um, and two are away, and that's quick. And I, this is always, this always cracks me up because pitch locations change all the time. I'm so curious as to what determines exactly where they place these baseballs. Uh, he tries to go with the back door. It looks like a slider there. Um, doesn't quite get for free real estate and goes up and in. And look at that. I mean, look at that prime location again. Um, beating Devers there. They go back to it, and he just can't handle it. And it goes with the chain of same exact thing he did the first batter of the game. Takes down Devers. I mean, ooh. And that's so good. Like, he attacked here and here. And, I mean, look at this giant zone, right? This giant space that is just ignored. Like, none of this. But like, just, just a little bit of corners. I mean, that's called precision. That's paint. That's pristine command. That is how Jose Urquidy is demolishing right now. That's so good. Oh, all right. So let's look at the third inning, though. Let's go. I want. I want to keep it moving. I want to show you more prime Jose Urquidy. Fastball. That one's. Yeah. Let's watch that one again. This is Bobby Dahlbeck is thinking. I want a fastball. I want to drive it. That's a pretty dang good one to lean out and push the right field. But he might want something a little bit more inside. He didn't really want that outside pitch. Fine. Off of that, he throws the, the curveball. That's a really good one. I, I mean, you could actually it might even be the slider. That's seventy-eight. Uh, I've been calling it the curve, but it, it depends on you know, whatever. Seventy-eight is traditionally more anything sub eighty for a guy that throws ninety-three is going to be curveball. Uh, that might be called slider, but it does have more horizontal movement than the than the normal drop. Thing is, this looks like it's going to be. A mistake fastball over here comes back enough that Dahlbeck thinks he still can hit it, and then he can't, right? And, ooh, that's pretty lovely. Now at 0-2, you see Dahlbeck swinging at that. You might want to extend it down here, get that slider down here now. Uh, you might want to try and jam him up and in. Uh, let's see where they go with. Jam him up and in, and, ooh, it really sets him back. Uh, I kind of think you want to do it again. Now you want to go back to the slide. Oh, yep. So that's the thing, is I wanted to go back again because I think that was the reverse of, of the gambit. I talk about the gambit a lot of you throw a breaking ball, breaking ball, and the batter thinks I've earned a fastball, so they look for the heater. This was a case where you throw the slider away, fastball up and in, that they said, okay, I've deserved now. Okay, they went after the fastball to go with the breaking ball instead. So Dahlbeck sees this coming in, and he thinks this is going to be a slider that breaks out of the zone. And that means he just gets frozen here, right? He just passes his on. He's too far back. He's like, yep, okay, I guess wrong, right? And that's how you 
that's how you beat a guy at that because of the sequencing of the pitches before. And that's a fastball down. It's given for a ride. There you go. One pitch, one out. Reese McGuire. I mean, not not the strongest lineup that we're seeing from the uh, from the Red Sox at the moment. Uh, but all right. I mean, not a terrible pitch. And that's that's a worse one. Uh, if Reese McGuire got that one, maybe uh, more damage to it. What do you do? Another one? Oh, a change of beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, you, you, you sneak in the heater. And because you take advantage of that, now you have the, the changeup that falls off, right? I mean, he's that's three changeups we've seen, all of them just so well located down and away. I mean, it's it's incredible. And now at 0-2, I mean, I don't know where he's going to go with this. I, uh, You could honestly just freeze him here. You can maybe go with another changeup. Curious what they go with. Fastball up and in. I mean, this is precision. Urquidy is just nailing this. As much as he wants. I mean, Jesus. This is a guy in rhythm. I'm sure he is getting fortunate BABIP during this entire time. But, I mean, you watch this and you see Jose Arquiti's command is as good as it's ever been. It has been for a good six, seven starts. And to see that the changeup now is getting more involved. These breakers are getting down a lot. He's getting free real estate, too. This is how Jose Arquiti is doing it. And you'll have to see it. Hopefully, he can stick around for the last two months of the year but all right that's going to do it for today's pitch breakdown make sure you listen to the nick and alex baseball show the best baseball podcast out there but that's it so make sure you subscribe hit the bell my name is nick pollock and your babs below and your strikeouts high